Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, pagbibigyan natin yung mga questions o yung mga tanong ng ating mga subscribers sa comment section ng aking mga videos. Ang tanong doon, Teacher Gon, paano ba mag-divide ng fraction at ng whole number? And may tanong din, na paano ba mag-divide ng mixed number? So, by the way, sa mga viewers natin sa YouTube channel natin, I have uploaded different um, ways on how to do operations of fractions like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But this one is a requ requested video, so I need to do this for you guys. So again, without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here basically a fraction. We have a fraction and a whole number. So, how are we gonna divide this kind of situation, or fraction and whole number? So, always remember, in dividing fraction, you need to remember, keep, change, and flip. So, again, you need to remember those words, keep, change, flip. So basically, so we have here to keep 3 over 4. Keep lang natin 3 over 4 or in other words, you need to copy. And then, yung word na change, it refers to the division sign. Papalitan mo siya ng multiplication symbol times. And then yung flip natin, so you need to get the reciprocal of this one, of your divisor. So, yung 2 natin, basically, is meron siyang invisible 1 as your denominator. So, when you flip 2 over 1, it will give you 1 over 2. Again, the process is, you need to keep your dividend, 3 over 4. Your operation, division, should be changed to multiplication. And then, itong whole number natin, remember... Pag whole number, meron siyang invisible one na denominator. And then when you flip it, it will become one half. And then follow the rules on how to multiply fraction. You need to multiply your numerator. 3 times 1, that is 3. Then multiply your denominators. That will give you over 8. And don't forget, in doing any operations of fractions, always remember to check whether your answer is already in lowest term or standard form. Because if the fraction or your answer is not yet in lowest terms, maybe the teacher or the teacher will not accept your answer as correct. That's the basic rule, guys. So let's continue. Let's move on to this one. Sir, what if your dividend and your divisor are both mixed numbers. So here, here it is, guys. So all you need to do is transform the given mixed numbers into improper fraction first. So basically, you need to multiply, add. Multiply, add. So you need to, you need to multiply your denominator to your whole number, which is 32, plus your numerator, which is 5, that will give you 35 and copy your denominator which is 4. So again, to came up with 35, multiply your denominator to your mixed number that is 32 and then plus 3 that will give you 35. And then divide, multiply 3 times 2 that is 6 plus 1, 7 over 3. So we can apply Keep, change, flip. Okay, copy natin yung ating 3 over 5 or keep natin yung 3 over 5 over 4. Change this operation to multiplication. Then flip natin yung 7 over 3. The reciprocal is 3 over 7. So as you can see, we can still simplify this one because we can rewrite 35 as... 5 
times 7. Those are the factors. Over 4 times 3 over 7. We can cancel out 7 and 7. So the remaining one here is 1 and 1. So 5 times 3, it will give you 15 over 4 times 1, that will give you 4. So I can accept this one. Or pwede nyo rin siyang i-transform bilang mixed number. So you have 15 divided by 4. So you have 3. This is 12 minus 15 minus 12. That will give you 3. Okay? So this one, the equivalent mixed number of 15 over 4 is none other than 3 and 3 over 4. So these are the possible answers for item number two. Again, if you have any request about, or if you have any request, request a topic for math in our YouTube channel, you can comment on below para makita ng ating, para makita ng teacher doon. Again, maraming salamat. Bye-bye.